you're not alone anymore. It's a road to recovery. You can just turn to them at any time. We're here to help people to get the best from life. The organisation was set up by Eleanor Rathbone. The founding motto... A society for every citizen in need. The goes with people. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's the phone number there. It's about making a change and making a difference. We're forever coming up with different ways of doing things. Putting the person, the individual, at the heart of welfare and of social provision. Helping people at a point of need. Leaving behind what's gone before. And helping them to help themselves. You've got to give the people a chance. Definitely a chance. We're actually the founders of Shared Lives. People were having to go into institutions to be cared for. What about those people going and living with another family? The carer is offering their home. It just feels like my own house. <laughs> to be part of their family. And not all are family now. They're offering them love. I love it here. I do such a lot now. They need that support to be who they want to be and do what they want to do. It's keeping people in the community. There's a real issue with what is known as bed blocking. People who are medically able to be discharged from hospital, but they aren't able to return home for all sorts of reasons. You can't just sort of walk out to hospital and then everything is perfect. The person can go and live in a family home until they're well and able to go home and continue living independently. It's given me a chance to recharge batteries. It was set up to look at the needs of older people and how society could better respond to its older residents. Our population is living longer. It's about making sure that we have services as a community that support everybody. This dementia thing is a terrible worry. It's for people who have memory impairment, allowing them to make social groups and make friends with people. Now I'm beginning to get out again. You can walk out of your home and you can be in a completely different world. I wouldn't do without it. I look forward to it every week. Family Impact supports children affected by parental drug and alcohol misuse. Very often the children live with the grandparents. We're all equal. You will speak about what is necessary to progress. We keep families together. You can feel safe. Left Behind came out of our work to do with children with a parent in prison. We can't underestimate how difficult it can be for children. We work with the children, but we also work with other professionals. Teachers, social workers. You could go to the prison, experience what it might be like and how that would impact then the children that we're working with. That is extremely important. Training needs to be more like that. They've got women who's in and out of the hospital all the time and there's got to be a reason for it. You don't think like it's going to happen again. I've dropped the charges the next day. The staff train doctors and nurses to look out for the signs of domestic abuse. I didn't want anybody to know that there was anything wrong in the relationship. When she realises actually it's not right and I deserve more, that's when that journey starts for that woman. 
once I'd spoke to them, I felt like a weight had been lifted off me. They'll also work with the women about what it feels like to be their child in a domestic violence situation. Five kids split up in the care room, no mum, no dad, and it, it would drive me insane. That was the motivation. PSS is an organisation that wants to be here to serve today's citizens, but also those of tomorrow. If it wasn't for them, God knows where it'd be. It is an organisation for its time. That is why the organisation will survive into the future. I used to be lonely. I'm a lot happier. They've just been there, and that's what I think I've needed all along. see a need and find a way to help. What can be done ought to be done. And we will find that way.